Okay. Hello, everyone. Huh, now I'm not coming on. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is this is a whole new uh, experience here. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why I've got this other thing on here. Uh, hmm. Let me just see if this works. There we go. Okay, well, uh, hi, it's Linda McCray here. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's incredible. This has been... A uh, pretty big learning um, curve this whole year. I, it's hard to believe it was, you know, just uh, just a little over a year ago, we were all in New Orleans at the hotel there uh, during Folk Alliance. And I, I, I've had such a wonderful time at all the conferences. I've gone to quite a few over the years. And uh, I just wanted to uh, send a big shout out to Angus Finnan and Jared Rivers and... Um, uh, Tressa Levasseur and Jennifer Rowe for all the hard work they've been doing with this. It's been amazing uh, watching all the panels and everything during the day and things have been going off without a hitch pretty much. So um, yeah, so congratulations everybody for that. Um, it's been really great. Thank you for joining me. There's a lot of really amazing musicians um artists on this uh on this you know this whole during this whole week if you've never been to a folk alliance conference i highly recommend it my name is linda mccray and i am coming to you from kingston springs tennessee we just actually experienced uh being snowed in for six whole days couldn't get out of the <laughs> out of the street off our street here so that's pretty unusual for for our neck of the woods but I'm going to start off here with a song. Um, I've actually been doing a lot of writing during this whole pat lockdown and everything. Thank goodness I've had a couple of friends that I have a weekly appointment with. Um, I have 36 new songs, which is really wonderful. So, yeah, I'm going to play a bunch from that and as well as, you know, a few older songs too. So thank you for joining me. This is a song called Two Blue Roses. And I wrote this um, based around a story that a friend of mine told me. I was going to be playing her house concert last March, right around her birthday and my birthday. Um, we're two days apart in, uh, in March. And, um, and anyway, of course, it got canceled. So it's going to be online this year. It's happening. I believe it's March 13th. Uh, and it's called Two Blue Roses. And the woman who runs it is called, her name is Jeanette Lundgren. And so I asked her, you know, where she got the idea for the title of her concert series. And she told me about this dream that she had. So I ended up writing this song. And I actually did uh, some revisions just recently with one of my songwriting partners, uh, Kelly Kessler. So this is Two Blue Roses. Strange things happen, this time was a test As I woke, I swear I heard a stranger broke this Take two blue roses, plant them in the earth Plant one with wisdom, the other with truth Two hundred pallets lay upon the floor With roses of every color ready for the store I walked among the coral, cream and burgundy At the end were two blue roses waiting there for me Blue is wisdom, blue is truth, if you let it be your guide Two blue roses for to rearrange your mind Won't live to see eternity on that you can rely Leave some money on the table for the other side
I reached for those blue roses and I couldn't help myself. The stranger said they're for you and no one else. I wrestled with my conscience, left it on the floor. I came awake with a blue ache I had to answer for. The tips of my fingers sometimes are pierced with thorns But through the hurt, through the pain, I have been transformed There's beauty in those lessons as I face each new dawn Dreams are new, some come true, and I learn right from wrong Blue is wisdom, blue is truth, if you let it be your guide Two blue roses for to rearrange your mind Won't live to see eternity on that you can rely leaves the money on the table for the other side I keep running running out of blue Trying to paint the dream I had and what it's put me through. A rose that can be lavender, black or white as snow. On this earth you'll never see a rose of indigo. Blue is wisdom, blue is truth, if you let it be your guide. Two blue roses for to rearrange your mind. Won't live to see eternity, on that you can rely. Leaves the money on the table for the other side. Won't live to see eternity on that you can rely. Leaves the money on the table. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Two blue roses. Yeah, and I wanted to mention too, you know, this is this has been a really weird year for everyone. Um and Folk Alliance has been a huge help for me. Um, I had a whole bunch of stuff lined up this past year. Uh, a lot of it, a lot of the stuff I had met people, um, you know, during Folk Alliance. I was going to teach at five, teach songwriting at five different uh, music camps this past summer. One of them was on a, a tall ship off the coast of Maine. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's been it's been pretty tricky, but uh, hopefully we'll all be able to reconvene next year. This is another new song. I wrote this with my friend Daryl Dasher, who lives here in Nashville. I'm just outside of Nashville, in a little town called Kingston Springs. I think I mentioned, but we ended up writing this one right around the beginning of this whole thing. It goes like this. Birds are nesting in the fern outside my window. They are the soundtrack to my day. I sip my coffee and decide which way the wind blows. Don't have very much to say. Me and Spike, we take a walk along the pathway. He's got the rabbits on the and me, I'm happy just to wake up on a new day And for this trip around the sun Trip around, trip around Tripping around the sun Trip around, trip around Tripping around the sun Sometimes I feel like I might need a new philosophy But I'm not sure just what that means Maybe I'm blooming as I shake this weight right off of me Must be the coming of the spring I'd like to welcome the whole world into my rainbow A world where everyone is free 
One big kaleidoscope of love outside my window Let everybody do their thing Trip around, trip around Tripping around the sun Trip around, trip around Tripping around the sun The birds are nesting in the ferns outside my window Another year has just begun I sip my coffee and decide which way the wind blows On my next trip around the sun Trip around, trip around Tripping around the sun Trip around, trip around Tripping around Tripping around the sun. Okay, well, I am going to switch over to the banjo. I've been playing the banjo for a little while now. Uh, and my husband James and I have a workshop that uh, we started as a result of our involvement in the Arts and Corrections program at New Folsom Prison in California. It's called Express Yourself Writing Workshops, and um, we've worked with at-risk youth of over 2,000 inmates and uh, at-risk youth all over North America and Europe. Um, you can find more information on my website at lynnamcray.com. Just look under the workshops. There's a bunch of different ones that we do. We actually were doing home workshops here as well, where people come and spend three nights, three, three days and four nights with us uh, here in our house. And... Um, it was an amazing thing. We showed them around Nashville, and of course, that's not happening right now either. But, but I wrote this song with an inmate at New Folsom Prison. I will show you a photo of him once I'm done this song here. His name is Ken Blackburn, um, and he wrote this beautiful poem about uh, called Flowers of Appalachia, and I, I just love the poem so much. He's a musician as well, but... Uh, he, you know, I asked him if he would mind if I put uh, put some music to this, and he said sure. So I ended up uh, recording it with uh, Steve Dawson, produced my second to last record called uh, Shadow Trails, and uh, our good friend Fats Kaplan played some fiddle on this. So it goes like this. <laughs> Yeah. 
thank you. Flowers of Appalachia. And uh, I'm just going to share a picture of, um, of Ken Blackburn. This is, uh, this is in the music room at New Folsom Prison in California. Uh, we've been there 11 times now. And uh, that's Ken in the, just behind, behind me there and Doc behind him. Um, so yeah, it's an amazing experience. We've had such a wonderful time with them and I can't thank them all enough for their generosity of spirit and, and their respect and, and their curiosity and just lending their ears. They're some of the best audiences I've ever played for. So, so that's Mr. Ken Blackburn. Uh, now I am going to bring on my friend, um, Evangeline Elston. I've just got to remove my pin here. Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah, so um, Evangeline is my booking agent, and uh, she's become my friend. And we actually met um, at Folk Alliance. It might have been in Memphis. I can't quite remember, but... Um, this has been a really tricky time for for her, especially because, you know, all her artists are out of work right now. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, to introduce Evangeline. Hi, Evangeline. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I, um, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. It's not all bad, you know, um, but I, I wanted to to say really quick just to thank folk alliance i've been so impressed with the innovative use of technology i mean it, it's Isn't been an amazing? adventure but i haven't had a single like i haven't had a single problem like if i want to find something and go and talk to people i mean it's really pretty amazing i'm super impressed with it so i want to say I'm, thanks so i really am alliance too i was just blown away yeah, the, uh, the keynote yesterday yeah. was incredible with Margaret Atwood and uh, and Anais Mitchell. I just I just loved that. Wow! But um, yeah, I just wanted yeah, just some really you know, good workshops and oh, it's yeah, they really are. Yeah. So yeah, so Evangeline runs Evangeline Presents, and um, you know she has some incredible artists on her roster. Do you want to just mention some of the folks that you have on there? Evangeline? Sure. Sure. Yeah, I've been working for a long time with Ray Bonneville. He's a um, a Canadian blues but a songwriter, heavy on the songwriting, a Juno Award winner. I've been working with. It's gotten to be many years now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I work with uh, Linda. It's one of my favorite. We just started when this all start started though, so we really haven't even had a chance to really do much, but. Um, Bo Ramsey, I work with, um, he's not out on the road as much, but he needs, you know, he needs some management support and different kinds of things. And when he is out on the road again, I'll probably help him with that. But also the hot club about Baltimore, which is killer gypsy jazz, um, joint also related to that, um, a band called ultra foam head guy, who's Michael Joseph Harris and, um, Amber Cross from Central California, who's an amazing songwriter. Rita Hosking, who um, um, many people already know is just one of our best uh, current people writing songs today. Um, who, who else am I I'm missing? I, some- uh, Oh, Darren Stan. Darren Stan, he's a local guy in, in Lake Tahoe. Right. He's super busy and he's a poker dealer. and. He really has a great local following. And um, uh, Susie Glaze, she doesn't tour at all, but she does a lot of recording. Right. Um, right. And, you know, other artists I do some like contract work for. I guess one of the things that I'm really trying to do right now is diversify kind of what I can offer people. Um, and I've always done a little bit of management and a lot of promotional work for the artists that I work with. So that's helped, but I'm, I'm taking a lot of classes now and I'm trying to leverage mm -hmm. my photography. Um, right. And by right. the way, uh, I met Linda in um, Kansas City at a conference there, I think, because I haven't been to Memphis. Oh, okay, uh, okay. For the conference. Yeah, but um, I just fell in love with her. It was before that I was listening to her music a little bit and I think I heard about her through Gerf Morlix, who's a good friend too. 
and Ray right. Bonneville too, knew right. of her. And um, we, I, I was so impressed with Linda's generosity as a performer and a, and a human being. Um, I just was very drawn to you. And, um, and I always say, like, I say this to everyone, like going to one of your shows is like getting like this amazing, like <laughs> musical <laughs> hug. Oh, that that's sounds corny, so but I'm telling you, that's oh. what, <laughs> that is the truth. That's really so, I, And you're so generous oh. and you have so much to offer besides just a live show, all this workshop stuff, this ability to communicate and teach. You yeah. have such a package. You know, it's been so, so much fun too. I've younger, just I've yeah. learned so much, you know. And I actually yeah. I wanted to let people know too that you're doing photography for yeah. artists and um you're an amazing photographer. You some of your photos are up on at evangelinepresents.com and I was just gonna share a couple of uh oh, you're let me so try and do that here. <laughs> share God. some of your photos. Um this is one of uh Darren Sen. I, I I just love that that photo. It's a really great photo. Um, yeah, I just did a photo shoot for him because he's going to put out a, a record coming up. And we went out to Fort Churchill, which is this old fort from the 1830s, um, Nevada, one of the first you know forts uh, here before it was even a state. And um, we went out there and did a really fun shoot. And, that's really great. Yeah. That's such a wonderful shot. Uh, and then there's this black and white one that I really love too. Another one from the photo shoot with Darren. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that one too. That's yeah, been the most that's... popular one that I've posted. Really? Yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, yeah, it has, that's, but we uh, haven't even released the ones that he chose for the album yet. Oh, and, really? You know, but, uh, I want and yeah. then this is, this is one, yeah. uh, this is from gonna your yard, to do... right? Yeah. Yeah. Sunrise. Yep, that's Sunrise. Beautiful. Homestead so Sunrise, beautiful. I think is what I called that. Oh, thank <laughs> so you. Great. So great. Yeah. I've gotten such a great response for my photography. Uh, it's just, and you have really helped me a lot with that. I put out a calendar uh -huh. this year and it, it's been really fun to do. Um, uh, and I'm taking pictures of people. If anybody's interested, I'm hoping when COVID gets safer, I want to go out and see my sister in Maryland and I'm going to try to do, take some pictures out and back. Um, if anybody Great. wants to trade. A yeah, stop a here. I want, I want to take some for me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I wanted to share this yes, one last so, photo. Um, uh, Evangeline was going out okay. uh, and doing these, um, she, she was posting photos from the Long Shadow Trail and I saw this one picture, I'll just share it right now. And it inspired a song uh, called Long Shadow Trail and it actually ended up becoming the title track of my album that Steve Dawson um, recorded for me. So I am gonna play this one for you now. Thank you so much, Evangeline. Oh, if, if anybody's interested in booking me out there, <laughs> She's the person yeah. to get in touch with. I'm going to go over to the chat on the Folk Alliance um, feed of your show right now. So I'm going to get, I'm going to be off. Of okay, the... great. Okay, Thank bye. you so much, Thanks. Evangeline Elston from Evangeline Presents. Thanks, Vange. All righty. So I am going to do the song that was inspired by that photo. It's called Long Shadow Trail. Um, when I saw that picture, I had to kind of, you know, come up with a concept, um, a story based around, you know, the song. Mm -hmm. And um, it started off with a little girl who, you know, a teenage girl who ended up getting in trouble and killing somebody. And I thought, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's kind of a cheap shot, you know. I don't want to, uh, I don't want the body count on this record to be high. So, uh, yeah, so I changed, changed things mm -hmm. around and it ended up that, uh, with this story about a little girl who her imaginary friend is her shadow. Long Shadow Trail.
shadows need light and as a kid i was told my was sewn to the soles of my feet with little girl spins i throw our wishes to the wind and i swear i heard her heart beat Evangeline talked of where she'd been Every time the sun disappeared She'd watch the little girl spin Collect their wishes from the wind And chase away the shadows they feared On the long shadow trail on the long shadow trail So when the sun's gone And some other one Sees her shadow and hears her heart beat Give a little girl a grin I'll cast my wish upon the wind For the sun and its heat To sow Evangeline back to my feet On the long shadow trail 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 Shadows need light And as a kid I was told mine Was sown to the soles of my feet <laughs> Long Shadow Trail. Thank you so much to Evangeline Elston for the uh, inspiration for that song. I actually made a video for that too. I had a, an artist residency at Escape to Create in Florida in the Panhandle in Seaside, Florida. I had a house all to myself and I made an animated video for that. You can find it on YouTube. Just look up Long Shadow Trail. Uh, let's see what's next. This is a, a brand new song. I'm actually, like I mentioned, I got 36 new songs. I'm working on a new record with uh, Fats Kaplan. Uh, he's helping me out. He's an amazing multi-instrumentalist who lives in Nashville, here in Nashville. And um, he plays every stringed instrument known to humanity. Uh, and he, he had the great fortune to uh, be playing with um, John Prine over the last couple of years, just before he passed away. And uh, I wrote this song with my friend Daryl Dasher, um, just not long after he, after we lost uh, John Prine, and it was such a sad thing. Um, he is such a giant, and he's right here. I did this little folk art thing, and uh, that's a print of a, of a photo of him. And uh, so anyway, yeah, this is going to be on the new CD uh, when we get it finished. Just starting it now. It's called Beyond the Great Pause.
Hank's in it for the long haul, Marie's on the till. They're all on the front lines of their own free will. Medics on call, cops on the beat, no music on Broadway, no people in the streets. They're feeding us gruel and yesterday's news. Hour after hour, it's nothing but the blues. The clampdown's begun, we're all high. Even chocolate Jesus has nothing to say. There's a change coming and it's gonna be swift. Take that wake up call or it's the graveyard shift. There's gonna be loss, but it's not without cause. We can choose what lies beyond the great pause will we shoot out the stars or rise to the call the four laws of nature apply to us all the falling of the apple the earth's pull on the moon Hold on to your dreams They still can't come true There's a change coming And it's gonna be swift Take that wake-up call Or it's the graveyard shift There's gonna be loss But it's not without cause we can choose what lies beyond the great pause. Believe in each other for all that it's worth. In spite of ourselves, there's still heaven on earth. The angel from Montgomery takes his first flight. And now there's a bright new star in the sky tonight. There's a big change coming in. Swift, take that wake up call, or it's the graveyard shift. There's gonna be loss, but it's not without cause. We can choose what lies beyond the great pause. May we all move forward, and no more of us get lost. Find a better way beyond the great pause. Yeah, boy. I sure hope we can all get to back to normal soon. Hope you're all staying healthy out there and wearing your masks. Our friend Mary Klobuchar from Chico, she has a she and her husband Marcel have a wonderful house concert series out there that I've played and um and uh it's so fun but she she's making masks for folks and she sent me James and I a couple and one of them's got Hey Jude uh fabric on it and uh the other one has I have a, she made me a Ruth Bader Ginsburg one and uh oh my gosh they're just incredible so that's so much fun. Um, so I, I'm going to do this song. I wrote this song with my good friend MC Hansen, who uh, lives in Denmark. And uh, we actually met on a, on a tour of the Yukon. 
uh, that Kim Beggs put together for the three of us, and uh, we had a great time. And uh, MC and I ended up writing while we were on that trip. And then uh, a little while later, he invited me to Denmark to go and uh, they put me up in this like 1600s, beautiful, just amazing place with a thatched roof. I had the place all to myself. And he would come over every day. He and his family just live, you know, not too far from there. And so we ended up writing together while we were there. And then he and his band, The Sentimentals, um, he booked me a bunch of shows in Denmark. And they backed me up. And I'm just going to share this photo here of, um, if I can find it, of MC. And uh, unfortunately, Jacob is not there. But uh, that's Nikolai playing um the upright bass there, and then this is uh, MC Hansen, and that's me on the banjo. So uh, it was an amazing experience. I just had one of the best times. He also organized a couple of um, workshops for me while I was there too. But we ended up writing this song together, and it's uh, based around an aunt I knew, knew I had. She uh, she was actually on the um, my dad's side of the family, um, uh, an uncle. Um, her, her name was Hannah and, uh, her brother was my uncle by marriage. My grandma's, uh, brother, um, managed this department store, uh, Eaton's, which I don't even think is around anymore. Um, but anyways, uh, his sister, Hannah used to play the fiddle outside, um, the Eaton store there and for change, play for change. She was a busker and she was pretty flamboyant. She was out there until she was in her 80s, I believe. Anyway, so this is her story. I never got to meet her. Uh, called Hannah. Thank you, MC. <laughs> She's the old lady fiddler from Bastion Square. Just sing you a song or two. Gather round, people come drop her a coin And she'll sing her songs for you I gotta remember how loud this thing is I don't even need a mic, but anyway And I'll play outside the Eaton store In Bastion Square by the sea Loved her fiddle and she loved her bow. Never worked for the company. My uncle was in charge of that eating store. Didn't want her to play there for free. Said it was big and it caused only shame. She was banished from the family. He said, there's something that you need to see. This tattered case held my sister's whole life. Inside was a note for me. We never met, but I know who you are. This fiddle made me feel I belong. There's music in your veins and love in your heart. These things I passed along. Here's what this old singer will do I'll pass on her fiddle to the next girl in line And she'll sing this song for you I'm the old lady fiddler from Baston Square Sing you a song or two Come gather around, people come drop me a coin And I'll sing my songs for you
I've been playing the accordion since I was a kid. I kind of lost, you know, lost track of it for a while there. Hopefully my thing is still going. It looks like it might have stopped, but uh, I don't know. It looks like it's still going. Let's see. Okay, I think I'll do this one. Gotta keep an eye on the time here. Uh, yeah, this is um, this is a song I wrote uh, a while back and just finished it not too long ago. Um, it's loosely based around our experiences at, uh, at the prisons uh, that we work at. And um, I wrote this one with my good friend Kelly Kessler up in, uh, she's originally from here, well, she lived here for quite some time, but she's up in Chicago right now. But uh, this song, there's so many people um, in the in in prison that actually don't belong there. Some of them, I think, are wrongly wrongly convicted, and some of them, of course, you know, they 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 need to be there. They did something terrible, but um, but anyway, that's kind of what this this song is about. It's called Lost John. Oh, and I wanted to mention I'm part of the songwriting group. We get together every Monday night. This thing's been going for 20 some odd years and I just found found out about it. They've been holding it online. They usually hold it in person in New York City. And uh, it's, I've been fortunate actually, cause you know, I can't get to New York City all the time. And, um, but they're holding them online right now. So there's people from San Francisco and um, my friend Kelly and I are, are both honored as well. And it's been such an incredible experience you know, there's usually about 20 different people on Zoom and we all listen to each other's songs and help, you know, critique it. And it's been a wonderful experience. If any if musicians, songwriters out there, I highly recommend getting together with, uh, with your friends. You're supposed to write a new song every week as well, which is, you know, can be a bit of a tall order sometimes, but here's uh, Lost John. Everyone in this jail is an innocent man. That can be true, but I swear I am the lead pipe that broke the banker's head. Turned up neath my hotel bed, so now my head all been shaved. Iron shovels be digging my grave. 21 days, 21 nights, they'll shut my eyes and take my life. I'm so gone. I'm long gone, I'm lost, John. Now I curse that judge as I paced this cell. Turns out he owned that hotel. I was framed one cold night. No soul would listen to save my life So now my head all been shaved Iron shovels be digging my grave Forty-one days, forty-one nights So shut my eyes and take my life I'm so gone I'm long gone I'm lost, John Well, am I scared? You bet I am. I'm going down and it is me. And now my head's all been shaved. Iron shovels be digging my grave. Forty-one days, forty-one nights. I'll shut my eyes and take my life. I'm so gone. I'm lost.
Lost John. <laughs> Lost John. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to mention um, I have an online show. Uh, I've been streaming live to Facebook. Um, it's called Come On Up to the House, and we've done... How many episodes have we done so far? 20. I'm coming up to on my 20th. I've had all kinds of amazing people. Uh, Gerf Morlix and Ray Bonneville and Diana Jones and um, oh my gosh, just so many incredible artists. Sherry Ulrich um, and coming up, uh, actually I have one coming up on February 28th with this wonderful artist. I'll just show you her picture. Her name is Terry Morrison. She's a fabulous singer-songwriter. Um, she lives in Natton, Alberta these days. And so, yeah, that one is on uh, the 28th. They're at 4 o'clock Central Time. After that, on, uh, let's see here, on the 13th of March, as I mentioned, I'm doing the Two Blue House concerts. You can uh, find that on all... It'll be up on my website. And uh, March 21st, I'm doing a... Uh, Hank Williams senior tribute thing. I'm going to have about 10 different people doing a couple of, of uh, Hank's songs. I'm a huge fan, as you can tell. There he is right there, little bobblehead, bobblehead Hank. And um, April 4th is going to be, well, actually, I'm going to change that, I think, to the 3rd because um, it's Easter. And uh, Ethan Ballinger is going to be my guest that, that night. He's incredible. Oh, my gosh. And then April 18th is a wonderful duo from Oklahoma City called Miss Brown to You. May 2nd is going to be by request from my mom. It's my mom's birthday, Marge Litzenberger. It used to be Marge McCray. And then May 16th, I'm going to have the wonderful Lori Yates. So, yeah, I hope you'll join me for those. I think I have about 10 minutes left. I, uh, I'm going to finish with this, and then I'm actually, I think I'm going to, have a little surprise thing at the end here so thank you so much for watching um i'm on all the you know the usual places you can find artists these days and on spotify and bandcamp and soundcloud and i have my own website lindamcray.com and facebook i have a you know a band page and of course youtube um which we're coming from today and again i want to thank so much uh thank um all the folks at, at Folk Alliance, uh, you guys are so amazing. And I just, I just love the conference. And I really wish we were all able to get together in person. Um, this is the next best thing, I guess. Um, and hopefully we'll all be able to see each other again next, next, next year. And I wanted to send a big shout out to my friends, Rick and Denise Williams. Um, this is their microphone, actually. They have a house concert series here. Uh, just on the other side of Nashville called Hillbilly Haiku. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have been able to go to all these conferences. I think I've probably gone to 12 or 13 in the, since we moved here. 13, actually. Yeah, because we moved here 13 years ago. And, um, you know, they let me share their hotel room with them, and I drive with them and everything. So thank you so much to them. Uh, and also, I probably would be playing in their room. They usually have a host a, a showcase room at, at uh, Folk Alliance as well as at Surfa um, in Chattanooga. It was supposed to happen last year and this year. And of course, it's going to be online again, too. So this is my setup for um, for my show. Come on up to the house. I don't think I said that that's what it's called, but it's called Come on up to the house. And all the hotel rooms when you go to Folk Alliance are decorated like this. So uh, yeah, so I hope you don't come come next year. It'll be back in Kansas City next year. So this song is actually kind of taken on a new light. Um, Amanda Gorman, who, uh, you know, wrote that amazing poem, The Hill We Climb, uh, recited it at, um, at Joe Biden's inauguration. And... Uh, Oh my God, it was so incredibly touching. This is my philosophy in life. I just believe in trying to be the best person you could be and spreading that around as much as possible. It's called Be Your Own Light. Thanks again. 
Oh, and there's a sing-along thing. <laughs> and nobody can hear you, so if you're kind of shy of singing, go ahead. <laughs> well, this world is dark, yeah, yeah, no walking park, yeah, yeah, just like Noah and his ark, you gotta be your own light. Well, you gotta have faith, yeah, yeah, if you can't tell night from day, no, when you can't find a way to keep the thieves at bay, you gotta be your own light. Well, there's no doubt about it, well, there's no doubt about it, well, there's no doubt about it, you gotta be your own light. Well, if your vote's not counted, yeah, yeah, you can't drink from that fountain, no. You gotta climb that mountain so you can see your light. Go out and make some noise, yeah, yeah, when you find you've got no choice. Put down your toys, the world needs your voice, and it sure could use your light. So live your life the way you wanna, yeah, yeah, among the flora and the fauna. Tell lies if you're gonna, and watch what happens to your light. Then when you meet your maker, yeah, yeah, as a giver or taker, yeah, yeah, you won't be thrown in the baker when you meet your maker, if you be your own light. Well, there's no doubt about it well there's no doubt about it well there's no doubt about it you gotta be your own like keep singing well there's no doubt there's no doubt about it no doubt about it there's no doubt about it you gotta be your own light you won't be thrown in the bay when you meet your maker if you be your own right. <laughs> well thank you so much everybody I am gonna play a video now I recorded a version of a Canadian national treasure that his song not enough people know about him his name is Willie P. Bennett, and I had a whole mess of people um, singing on this with me. So I am going to leave you with this one. I'm just going to share my screen here. And thank you so much. If you're interested in, um, you know, booking me for when things get back together, back back to normal again, uh, my email is almacray42 at gmail.com or get in touch with the wonderful Evangeline. Elston at Evangeline Presents. Thank you so much for listening. I'll leave you with the Caney Fork River. Hang on one second. Well, I first saw her on the Caney Fork River Said her daddy rather shoot her than ever forgive her For falling for one of the McAllen clan Well, what do you expect? He's a feuding man Well, every day before breakfast, her mama said Daughter, it's time you got your bucket and went to fetch water She skipped down the path to the cool dark eddy that flowed into the Caney Fork River Caney Fork River, Caney Fork River Like water everywhere it 
it's a taker and a giver She touched it to her body, she touched it to her lips How I wish I was the Caney Fork River got this piece and you play for people and they just kind of cock their head and they go, uh, I don't get it. But you do, but there's no way that you can explain it. I think that that's one of the reasons why I continue to write songs, is to be able to write songs like that, that eventually people will go, I get it. Well, I know you're thinking that you won't get caught cause your lucky streak has been running on. Well, I couldn't swim, so I started across Hanging on to the branches of a hollow log I went to the log, hit a rock, and I went to the bottom And my body washed away late last autumn My spirit still lingers in the cool dark water That washes the skin of the Ferguson's daughter Touched it to her body, she touched it to her lips. I would wish I was the Caney Fork River. Caney Fork River, Caney Fork River, like water everywhere. It's a taker and a giver. She touched it to her body, she touched it to her lips. I would wish I was the Caney Fork River. everybody thanks for watching have a great rest of the conference stay safe and stay healthy hopefully we'll see you all next year